doing my digestion, man. Now, stop being embarrassed. Yes, we're Nothing. Never done it before. What's the difference? You probably never had your hair five for breakfast before either. No, ma'am, I didn't. Search off the dirty, man. I'll wash it while you're building the trash. So it would like to feel clean. Would anyone object? Of course not. You're a man. Does 
you ever want to go beyond kissing? Mom, I'm your mother. For heaven's sake, these things need to be talked about, does he? Well, yes. Does he get mad if you won't? No, he doesn't. He doesn't get mad. Do you like it when he kisses you? Yes. You don't sound very enthusiastic. What do you expect me to do? Pass out every time Alan comes all around me? No, you don't have to pass out, which seems to me the least. What? Let this dress up in front of Imagine it'd be awfully nice to be married to Alan. You have a charge account on the stores, automobiles, trips. You'd be invited by all his friends into their homes and parties at the country club. No, they don't feel right with those people. What do you mean you're just as good as they are? My father was a state legislator and my mother was I know, there. Mom. It's just all Alan's friends want to talk about are colleges and trips to Europe. I feel left out. Well, you just got to get over those feelings. You know, Alan will be going back to school in a few weeks, so there won't be many opportunities like the picnic tonight. You better get busy. Busy what? You know, a pretty girl like you doesn't have much long. Just a few years before she's the equal of kings and can walk out of a shanty like this into a palace with a doting husband and spend his life taking care of her. I suppose. Because but once, once she was young and pretty, she loses that chance. She might just as well throw all the prettiness away. I'm only 18. Yes, so next up you'll be 19 and then 20 and then 21 and then 40. Everyone around me was dressed up as well faced except me. Alan said he'd try to find me a date for picnic tonight. I don't want Alan asking any of these crazy boys in town to take me anywhere. They were family choosers. You shut up, Ash. That was me. I'll be dancing up in the pavilion tonight. I really should have a date, too. If she wanted a date, why doesn't she dress up and act decent? Because I'm going to dress and act the way I want to. And if you don't like it, you know what you can do. Always complaining because she doesn't have any friends, but she smells so bad people don't want to be near her. Madge. Blah, the y'all. Madge is the pretty one. She's so dumb. They must have burnt out the schoolhouse and her at it. That's not so. Oh, isn't it? We never would have graduated if it hadn't been for Jumpin' Jeter. Who's Jumpin' Jeter? Teacher's history. Kids call him Jumpin' Jeter because all the pretty girls in his classes make him so jumpy. He was funky mad when she wanted to be I just don't know what I'll do if I don't pass history. No, making that up. Like fun I am. You couldn't even pass in the city sports beforehand, and you have to work for the dive store. Really. You are a good Magic slap! You take that back, or I'll kill you! I'll stop it! What will the neighbors say? She's a bad woman who's like Holler. She's pretty. Maybe don't follow her at all. Poor oh, Millie. That's all I hear. Poor Millie. And poor Millie wanted to have a scholarship for four whole years of college. A girl like Millie can be confident in other ways. Mom? Yes? Do you love Millie more than me? Of course not. Why do you act as if you did? Yeah, Chad's listening. Give me the first one. Your mom and all the sun girls would send me. You used to carry him on his shoulders for the whole neighborhood to see. But when Millie came, things were different. How? They were just different. Your father wasn't home much of the time then. He found other things. The night Millie was born, he was with a bunch of his wild friends at the roadhouse. Was he sorry? Yes, he was always sorry. I always forgave him. Our life was a succession of fights and endearments. Anyway, you loved him. What if I did? It's a lot more than love to keep people happy. Mom? Yes? What good is it to be pretty? Well, pretty things are rare in this life, but what good are they? Well, pretty things like flowers and rubies and sunsets and pretty girls, too. They're like billboards telling us that life is good. <coughs> but where do I come in? What do you mean? Maybe I get tired of being looked at. No, she don't talk so stuff. I don't care if I sound selfish. It's no good just to be pretty. It's no good. Man, it's been a while to start a fire. What? Well, the nice lady says it was a hot enough day already, so I was going to be a jet. How about that? Am I a little fire? No. I, I don't mind. I don't think you would. Shane just moves in whether you want him to or not. I knew you wouldn't like him when I first saw him. Do you? I don't like him. Just like him, I just wonder what he's like. I know what he's like. Anyone mind if an old maid school teacher joins their company? No, Rosemary. Mail come yet? No mail today. It's later day. I forgot. I thought about getting a letter from that man I met at that high school picnic last spring who wanted to marry me ever since. A nice fellow and a peck of fun. I was down at the time when they started getting serious. Shoot, I have a bit long with that man. I don't seem to keep me from getting all the belt. What about Howard? Howard's just a friend 
boy, not a boy friend. I smell smoke. Alan Fox is having a leaves for it. Smells kind of nice, don't you think? Who's the young man? Just in my yoga, Alan Fox again. Mrs. Owens, he's over there looking naked as a jaybird. I don't think that's right in the present leaves. Millie, come back here. Oh, you whiz. I know swimming every day. The boys don't have a half as much as he does now. Something's different. Match, what? Can I forward your manager set? Just a kiss. Did you promise not to get messy? Yeah. The whole day. 
them fraternity. Last time I saw you, you were on your way to Hollywood, the movie hero. Oh. Yes. What do you mean, oh, that? Sure, see more. <laughs> Things just are um, They don't work out, that's all. Try to warn you, Hal. They were here some town, see, I don't want a street test. Oh, I got the street test, all right. I was got a big career. They were like me. Brush car. I just like that. Yeah. Yeah, and they took a lot of pictures with me, my shirt off. We were rook. And they dressed up like I was a foreign legion. Yeah. I'm going to figure those pants with the fit down out of the glove. They gave me half a big plume. Let me pop it off through the swords. Gotcha, gotcha! Touche, bug. That's crazy. Did you get my answer? Yeah, that part went okay. What was my teeth? Your teeth? Yeah, I don't care. You gotta have a certain kind of teeth and they don't want you. Don't ask me why. But the bank told me they didn't take it on my teeth. Wait a minute. Oh, man. The bank threw me in the screen teeth. Sure, there's a bit in the staff in there. Pick it up, you know. Not bad. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's get out of here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, it's come to see you. Yeah? Why? Well, you see, after Hollywood, I've done a job on a ranch under that. See where you're doing crap. They have been at 10 after one and six, no liquor, no race, and I saved them through your bucks. Oh, you can't pay me back. Well, I was gonna, but, um, but I rolled. Rolled? You? Yeah, and, and my two beds, you see, I was hitchhiking, and I got down as far as Arizona, when these two beds pulled up in a big yellow convertible, and they said, get in, stud. It seemed like it was crazy. They had a shaker full of our teams right down the car. Were oh, your boys talking to oh. your friends? No, we didn't ask them. Any more work, man? No, I can more than do practice. Uh, so what's this place to wash up? Uh, we actually have a bathroom in the basement. Come on, I'll get it. You'll be there in a minute. Yeah, that's the way I learned patience. 
Um, Spots, you're good, are you, Anna? Yes, Anna. Harry wants a hundred men for the Bible. I won't buy one, huh? Great! Great! Hey, where's that shell? Sorry, 
Why do I show you all that? Are you sorry? Of course, there are lots of pretty girls in college. Honestly, I had my entire four years never found a girl I liked. I don't believe that. It's true. They're all so affected. If you want to date one of them, you can call them on the defense. Really? I just, it's sort of hard for me to say this, but I, uh, I honestly never believed a girl like you care for me. You're supposed to be the smart one. 
creeping through the shoulders. See? I saw all my clothes fade away. Hey, uh, Hercules, you've met Miss Holmes. She's the mother, and I believe you're this boss this morning. She's my best girl. I hate the lady who walks in my See, this little lady took a bit in your house back and started. See, I ran some balls up on the way here. And, uh, and uh, sir, this is Rosemary Sydney, huh? Sydney teacher, shorthand and typing in the local high school. Yes, I'm an old maid school teacher. Uh, I never respect for maid school teachers, man. It's a lot of hard work and not a lot of bed. Alice, this is our Reynolds. This Reynolds is a uh, friend of Miss Sydney. I'll run a little business over at Jericho. The ocean's novelties and school supplies. You and I will drive over some time. Get yourself some money. So we'll come over as soon as we get better in our schedule. Hey, kid, you got a little more chance than this on you. You folks should have seen her this morning. She did a fine jacking off off the hind eye one morning. Put it out. What's the matter, kid? Think I'm still in there? See, I wouldn't admit this to most people, but she does a jackknife almost as good as me. See, I was a diamond champion on the West Coast, so I don't talk about it. Dad, you should be getting dressed now, dear. Come on upstairs and get beautiful for us. Mom, can I wear baby dress? No, I made you that dress to save the man since his fall. Now go on. I will in a minute. Where'd you get those? Those? Well, I guess I'll apologize for the way I look. But you see, uh, the, these two characters that I was telling you about, they made off from my clothes too. And I went to the police. Oh, I, see. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is I don't want you folks to think that you're associated with the bum. What the hell's the news? What's the matter, man? Helen, is your mother taking care of? Yes, well, I got a babysitter for her. Let's start packing the baskets. You see, my old man left with these boots before he died. That's all he left you? Just a pair of boots. Well, he and these boots and these, uh, some, uh, somehow nothing of it. He got the tires of the back of your rent. And he wrote me a little wallet, too. He said, so, the wages are all spent. The landlord wants his rent. You go to your room for solace, and she fills you full of torment. You see, he had a thought that he these boots, and he said, some man also will have a pair of boots, because he's got to do a lot of kicking. Wear your boots so people can hear you coming, and keep your fists up books and they mean business. But I was always so shy of people be born in me. Yeah. Alright. Hi. What line of business are you with, son? Sir, I'm in the old business. Yeah, you see, the foul man was no worse grand millionaire or anything, but he knew a few big men. And the way Dad and I have come to for help. Jesse, why well, think you ought to let me tell the story? After all, how many people aren't interested in your life history? Yeah. So I decided to talk to you very well. See, I learned there's a lot more important things than life than money. Oh, but I certainly do appreciate this opportunity to see one as old of me. Father. I think that's wonderful. It's a good business town. Young man, go far. That's right, that's so far. A young fellow coming into town, he's got to be a good mixer. Wouldn't it be nice if you join the country club and play golf? Oh, he wouldn't be able to afford that. The bowling team's around the game. And there's a young man's Bible class at the Baptist Church. Matt, are you still here? Better go and pardon me, Uncle Crabs. It's about time. Right out, we do all
think I see what you mean there. Uh huh. There comes a time when a man laughs when he's got to settle down, quit rolling around with your pin No, Howard, Billy's gonna beat your head in your coffee and he's drinking. What's that? Nothing. Thank you. Let's do this afternoon. Yeah, Clark. What do you mean? Tell me you were at Whole Point one afternoon? Yeah. What's up? Well, you're not. What was it about? Well, it's not so much what it's about, but how makes you feel? Sort of one side, sad, and amused all at the same time. Yeah. Sure. You see, I went with the girl who read books once. She was part of a book club. Uh, she no more finished one before they send her another. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Stop it! I thought I was doing a fair time. Hey, Billy, 
understood that there's to be no more shrinking on the statement. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Here's Millie now. Good to see you. I'll go out of the picnic and forget. How? What happened? Alan and Millie will come to us. Sure, Miss Owens. How? I told you not to drink. Let's go on the table. Madge, why did you wear your new dress? I don't know. I just put it on. Go upstairs and change this minute. I have meetings. You go up the room and you
wouldn't be pretending to be on big sides. And that's just as much future as I have. Sure, if a guy gets spoiled if he's a good football player or something, he thinks he can expect his whole life to be big time. Actually, I'm lucky I met you. I feel fine like I'm coming down with the clouds in your parachute and I'm landing solid on the ground. The old girl feels pretty good on my feet again. Wait, are you talking? It's a little Why? What's God doing? Well, because I'm unhappy, really. Say, I'm not unhappy. It's just that. Baby, kiss me goodnight. We just start things all over again. Well, kiss me goodnight anyway, will you? You promise not to hold me? Promise. I'll get my hands on my sides. No.
Well, you see, I was going to telephone, but then I thought, I better come over here and talk to these. You see, it's the beginning of my busy season. Maybe you can come with me. 
Come on, run upstairs, grab your bins. Come on, listen, I know it sounds funny, but they have a little room there and we can share it. I just save my money. Is this as far as it goes? Is this as far as it ever goes with me? Baby, kiss me goodbye. Baby, I've got to call you do love me, don't you? What good is it if I do? Baby, I am a poor master. And I've got to play with mine, and you are mine. You are the only real thing I have ever had ever, baby. Kiss me goodbye. Thank you. 